everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today is another design with me tutorial or sort of design with me inspiration for St. Patrick's Day. Now, when I make design with me videos, even though I somehow seem to target them to a specific platform or for a specific purpose, I do want you to understand that you can use what I'm doing in other ways. So for example, one of my most watched YouTube videos on this channel was how to make and sell printable greeting cards on Etsy. But the designs I made for the printable greeting cards can also be used for print on demand, whether it's cards, whether it's stickers, whether it's even t-shirts. Same goes for the designs that I made today as I was targeting them for tea public for my print on demand store there, but you can use them on other platforms as well as on printables. This is actually my second video today because the first video aired in the morning. It was a really, really quick update about Canva text effects with the option for a background. I'll leave a link to that down below. And during that little small tutorial, I made this cute tank top already thinking about St. Patrick's Day. But I did a lot more today and I think that you really are going to like the St. Patrick's Day tutorial because I combined something I really like which is combining St. Patrick's Days with other stuff. So combining it with people who love cats, with lo who love dogs, and puns are always a good thing. And even though I don't know if someone thought about these puns before, uh, I, I thought about them for today's video, you can go ahead and use them, feel free. In a lot of these Design With Me tutorials, I start off by doing the same thing, going on to Creative Fabrica and trying to find elements that will be good for me to use later on as I designed on Canva. Canva also has their own amazing, you know, variety of elements. But since I have the all access pass for print and demand usage membership with Creative Fabrica, I can download stuff and, you know, then decide I don't want to use them. So I rather do it than not. The print and demand all access membership to Creative Fabrica is $29.99 a month. And you can go ahead and check out a discount for viewers of this channel, a 30% lifetime discount to Creative Fabrica, which I think gives you you'll access pass for like $21 or something like that. There is a link to that down below. But without further ado, let's make myself smaller and check out what I did this morning with the St. Patrick's Day tutorial. First of all, you know, as, as I said, I went to create a Fabrica and there are a lot of Valentine's Day stuff here promoted right away, including a St. Patrick's Day sort of watercolor thing that I actually didn't see when I was searching for St. Patrick's Day graphics. And of course, I downloaded it along with other St. Patrick's Day options and, you know, the gnomes that I found really nice, a uh, skull that I found really cute, another bundle for graphics and a pug. Yes, a pug. That was, that was <laughs> really nice. I downloaded all of these files and then unzipped them and then uploaded them onto my Canva using a 5000 by 5000 pixels design on Canva which is the size that I like to use when I'm doing print on demand pretty much for everything. For my first design, I decided to go with the pug. Um, it just, it's, it's too adorable. <laughs> Honestly, you can just put it like that. That's the commercial use license for print on demand. As long as you have a membership, you can just put it just like that and do nothing with it if you want. You can just put it flat on like this. But I did want to make something special because I'm thinking like St. Patrick's Day or St. Pug. Rick Day, ha <laughs> ha ha, little cute puns in the morning. And I was, you know, trying a bunch of stuff, including sort of Saint, celebrating St. Pug's Rick Day, making it like rounded curves or anything like that. And I was really diving deeper into these effects, trying to, you know, make it work for me in a way. And I do think that it was quite nice when it was rounded up, but I didn't feel, I don't know, that this is it. So I duplicated the design and tried working it out. I think that a lot of the times you guys see me design something and you go like, oh, you design so quickly, you're so inspired, it's so easy for you. Well, it's not. I design a lot of things that I delete immediately and never use, including changing this design completely from what you saw in the beginning to basically a pug being on the side of St. Pugrick's Day, like on the side and up, matching the colors of St. Pugrick Day to the pug and actually using a font called Luckiest Guy, which is a cool font. I just thought, you know, a font called Lucky. <laughs> That's cool for St. Patrick's Day. And then I moved on and was thinking to do something with a cat. So I thought to myself, you know, there is this leprechaun hat 
and the mustache, and I can put a cat behind it. Well, you can put a llama behind it, you can put an owl behind it, you can put pretty much any animal that you find on Creative Fabrica or on Canva Elements with another element from Canva or Creative Fabrica that has this like hat thing or a mustache and really create sort of like this graphic collage between two different elements to fit whatever you want to do. I think it's very similar to what I did with Christmas that I did like Happy Catsmas and a lot of my designs for Christmas with cats were just, you know, cat elements with a Christmas hat on them. And I tried this one a bunch of times with different cats. I really cannot describe how much I've tried this, including also a variety of different hats from Canva. I was like still confused. Now actually that I'm watching what I did this morning, I'm like, why didn't I use that hat? That hat was good. And I was, I don't know, I think like this whole part took me about 20 minutes, just about defining the hat and the cat. Eventually I found this cool hat, which is nice. And I decided I'm just gonna put the cat under the hat. Like it doesn't look good if it's on the head of the cat. So I'm just gonna put the entire head of the cat inside the hat. And that process can be a bit tricky because I sort of needed to crop the cats on the sides of the hat because you can still see the cat there. And I wasn't sure if I want to start erasing the image or not. But there is a technique that I like doing, which is basically duplicating the element that is behind and then deleting parts of it from each side, like deleting the whole left side or the right side and then deleting the top and then basically creating with these two elements that are the same, identical, placed in the same place, creating a whole photo to put behind my hat. And after doing that, I also got a text that says, Happy St. Catrick's Day. Yes, St. Catrick's Day. And it took me a while to decide how I'm going to design it. I Again, I used the font Luckiest Guy, and I didn't know if I want to color it in white. Maybe I want to do some lift effect to it, if it's going to be in black. I really wanted to tie this design together, and it felt still like something was off. I mean, 20 minutes I'm spending on this. And then I tried the Lucky Bones font. And it actually looked kind of cool when it was like on all caps. And I really did start to like it, but I still felt like I need to do a bit of adjustments to the colors of the actual hat. And then again, to the colors of the actual text. So I did like a black text with some white shadow to it and a brighter hat. And I felt this is good. This is my cat. This is my Catrix Day design. And moving on from that, I started maybe searching for different templates to get inspired from. Apparently you cannot search for a t-shirt template when you're on 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And then I tried St. Patrick's Day templates and I didn't find a lot of things that I want to use. So I went to Tee Public for more inspiration. I, I'm telling you, I had a pretty long morning with this tutorial. Following that, I went back to Canva to the watercolor designs that I downloaded, like the watercolor bundle, trying to decide, I don't know, to give the, the elements a little bit of a glow, like the surrounding part of the design, which is part of Canva image effects. There is a full tutorial on everything you can do with Canva image effects. It's pretty awesome. There will be a link to that one down below. But I was playing around with these ones so much and I just did not like them. And then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go with the basic, which is the skull, because that skull is brilliant. I mean, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant design. And again, you can just use it as is because it was approved for print on demand usage license just as it is. And I was looking at the skull, grabbed myself a bit of text and I was thinking, what can I write? At first, I thought to say, like, trust me or, you know, something like that, or trust me, I'm St. Patrick's Day, or trust me, uh, I've lived long, or I don't know. I, I don't even know. Like, what, what was I doing with the trust me? That had nothing to do with it. Like, why would I even color it in black? What's the point? And then, so funny laughing at myself, like, this was designed at like five o'clock in the morning. And then I thought, you know what, it's like, it's someone celebrating St. Patrick's Day in their skull. So maybe like they drank too much last night. Uh, I just did a design saying drank too much last night and then started maybe partied too much last night and I thought this would be kind of cool again trying to design it align it 
I think that when I design, I move the row down and up and up and down a million times until I decide on what to do. And I ended up with the last night being a bit bigger. And then I put in uh, one of the gnomes and I thought about doing like kiss me because a lot of people do, do it on, on St. Patrick's Day. But I just wrote down drunk me, I'm kiss instead of, you know, kiss me, I'm drunk. It's sort of like when they say, um, hello, Mr. Drunk, I'm, a pol I'm, very, I'm not police officer. So that kind of thing. So drunk me, I'm kiss, which I started again playing with fonts and ended up choosing one of my own fonts, the italic May. And yes, one of you guys said I should call it the metallic. That's a brilliant idea. Uh, I think I, I might change it or maybe I'll make it like another metallic design. And this was a pretty simple one to do again with the elements I got from Creative Fabrica and a font that I designed using iPhone Maker. There's actually a tutorial on iPhone Maker if you want to design your own fonts. And of course I moved it around again and play with it around again. And I'm still not happy with that design. Still not happy with that design. I ended up starting to think, okay, what am I going to do now? So many different things here. I felt a little bit uninspired. I was checking out other platforms, greeting cards. And then I was like, hey, I'm going to duplicate the skull because I can use it twice and write down something else. I mean, you can duplicate yourself and write down other stuff. You could have made a million designs with a pug or with a cat or with different animals or with different cats. And I wrote down lucky to be alive. <laughs> I thought it would be funny. You know, drank much on St. Patrick's Day and he's dead. So lucky to be alive. I thought it would be rather funny. And then I had an idea to find animals that are green. And I typed in green animal and I found this cute little unicorn, which I, I didn't like. So I just typed in unicorn and thought to myself, hey, I'm going to get a unicorn and color it myself in green, which I did. And I found this cute little, there were, there were several adorable unicorns, several of them, but this one looked kind of cute to me. And then I downloaded just this one as a PNG with transparent background. Later on, uploaded it onto my Clip Studio Paint just to paint the insides of this unicorn, just to give it a bit of color. You can also do it with GIMP. You can also do it with Procreate. You can do it with a lot of other online softwares. After doing that, changing my unicorn, I re-uploaded it to Canva and there it is. My green unicorn, I thought about adding a text to it, sort of ready for St. Patrick's Day, ready to party. Hindsight, I'm probably going to go back to that design and change it a bit by adding four leaf clovers to it because, you know, to make it a bit more St. Patrick's Day or give it a hat or, I don't know, make the unicorn come out of a bucket of gold or whatever people do on St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. I'm not Irish or Christian or I've never celebrated St. Patrick's Day. I did work in an Irish pub several times, but it was never on St. Patrick's Day. I feel like I missed out on an experience. And in any case, wrote down ready to party, curve the text, the ready to for one side and curve the party text on the other side, creating a big design of my unicorn ready to party. And then, you know, downloaded the whole thing with a transparent background to be placed on my tea public store. As I was uploading the skull designs, I realized that there is such a limit of the amount of t-shirts that I can put this design on. I mean, the skull had a black frame and the text was black, which says, oh, okay, so I can't put it on a black t-shirt, so that's fine. But the thing is, also on everything that is too dark, also on a lot of the other designs, the other colors of t-shirts, like even orange, it still didn't look as good. The only color it actually looked good on was white. And I felt like I needed to do something a bit different. So I actually edited my designs a bit by taking the photo that I uploaded of the skull, editing it with the image effect to add to it a little bit of that glow white sort of outline. And then the party too much text or the lucky to be alive that was black. I changed into white while also lifting using the lift text effect of Canva, lifting it in black. So it does look a lot better now on the different t-shirts that I have on and the different designs that I did from Tee Public, And I think that it made for an awesome sticker. Like I also added a bit of a background to it and I think that it made a really nice sticker. I also used it for other products. I do love how the design of Happy St. Patrick's Day came out. I think it came out to be brilliant. 
And I also designed sort of a mock-up. It's not one of T-Public's products, but I put like the St. Patrick's Day on a mock-up on a bra, <laughs> on a sports bra. I thought it would be funny. And these, all of these mock-ups, by the way, are from Playset. I'm, I'm in love with Playset. I can't stop using them. They're so cool including the sweatshirt, the white sweatshirt that says ready to party with my little unicorn. And I am going to spend the rest of the day and maybe tomorrow uploading more St. Patrick's Day designs onto my Tee Public store. Because as I said, I have sort of a designation for each and every one of the platforms that I chose this year because Society6 is going for my liquid wall art and I was choosing Fine Art America for my photography, even though that one is like the last on my list because I'm seriously really into Society6. I have more, I think a hundred more designs to upload and I keep making more and more designs every day. I keep like sitting around in bed grabbing my iPad and then like, you know, 20 more designs for Society6 that I need to re-edit the size of them because I make them on 6,000 by 6,000 or 7,500 by 6,000 and then I need to duplicate them, patternize them using Clip Studio Paint. By the way, there was a tutorial about that. I think it was I think it was one of the most useful tutorials I had in this channel because it's basically using Clip Studio Paint to make an instant pattern of any size to anything that you do. So it's rather cute. Then uploading it to Society6, <laughs> which takes forever. So sort of my photography has been placed on the back burner in terms of Fine Art America. I reckon that I would get to it in the next few months. But for the rest of January, I have a lot on my plate. So Society6 is with my liquid art and I'm uploading like crazy, as well as uploading some of my photography and some of my liquid art to puzzles on Zazzle. And there is a video tomorrow about the Zazzle puzzle. It's kind of funny to say, say Zazzle puzzle five times. I dare you, I double dare you. And it is a good a video as well as a bad video. Like I'm, I'm a mixed feelings about this, mostly because FedEx really pissed me off and Zazzle really pissed me off, but um, the puzzle was nice. <laughs> a little bit of a spoiler, but the puzzle was nice and you can check it out tomorrow at 7 p.m. with a live premiere as well. By the way, if you like this video and want me to make more design with me videos, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. With all that, with my photographs uh, mostly going on puzzles now for Zazzle and my liquid art mostly going on Society6, and the tea public is basically where I put in these seasonal ideas, these not, I wouldn't want to say trending because I'm not going to go too much into the trending like keywords niches or like, you know, designed by a trend. But I do know that a lot of the tutorials that I do for this channel, I eventually use them on my Tee Public store instead of my Redbubble, which is something I did when I started this channel. And I'm starting to feel like it's about time to close my Redbubble store. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you still uploading to Redbubble? Are you seeing anything from it? I'm I'm still getting sales, but it's not as fun and I haven't been doing anything with it. And I think I've uh, grown from Redbubble. I don't like them anymore. And uh, of course, the minute I decide to close it, I'm going to make a full video about that, talking exactly why I decided to do it. In the meantime, I'm going to send you off to design for St. Patrick's Day and I'm going to flaunt a little bit with my new pants <laughs> from Printful. I love them so much so much and you will be seeing these pants and other puzzle related products that i designed from printful and a printful product review i think next week yep next week because for this week we have the zazzle puzzles tomorrow as well as lgbtq design tutorial or sort of like inspiration i want to do sort of all around um just tackling the niche like what you can do with it including combining some unique products not just a design tutorial but really laying down on this niche and talking about it and a lot more videos to come this week in the next few weeks and i've listened to you guys and the goals videos are coming sort of a summary of what i'm doing all month including what my goals are for the next month so that will come on february 1st as well and i'm super excited and with that being said that was it for me for today thank you so much for watching and as usual i'll see you guys in my next video bye